everybody welcome to just up right my name is doc jean ruder i'm a doctor of physical therapy and i'm your foreign educated physical therapist guide to u.s application i hope you guys are doing great um so i already made my first video about uh school for uh, deficient subjects so uh if you haven't watched it yet you can watch it here that is the school of uh university of saint augustine Okay, for health sciences so um, the link is up there if you haven't watched it so this video is the second video that I'm making uh, for you know the schools here in the US uh, offering um, subjects for foreign educated physical therapists so um, mind you guys these subjects are will not give you a degree in physical therapy you have to already undergo or underwent the physical therapy program and graduated with a bachelor degree in physical therapy okay so these are non-degree courses so meaning these courses are for uh, foreign educated physical therapists applying to the US but when they apply to FCCPT uh, or CGFNS um, they receive a re report that they have missing subjects or what we call deficient subjects okay uh, so many people will email me will message me and they will ask me where can i enroll to get this deficient subjects so that is the reason why i'm making this series of videos about the schools uh, offering this deficient subjects okay so that you will be guided well where you can enroll and the schools that i am going to feature in this um in my youtube channel just upright are schools that are 100 percent online okay so that wherever you are in the world you can actually complete get those subjects enroll on those subjects complete those deficient subjects without needing to come here to the u.s and enroll in person to a united uh, states school okay so what we're going to talk about today is the university of michigan flint uh, we're going to their website we're going to see what are the subjects that they are offering and if any of those subjects are one of your one or more of your deficient subjects okay coming right up guys So we are here in the website of uh, UM Flint, University of Michigan Flint, okay, um, you know, slash graduate program slash PT dash bridge, you know, slash. So I will put the link on the description below so you can access it yourself for your own convenience, okay? So uh, prepare foreign PTs for US credentialing. So that is the main goal, okay? So the PT Bridge program helps fill your FCCPT uh, deficiencies by taking graduate level physical therapy courses without being formally admitted to a UM Flint degree or certificate program. You can read this on your own, okay? Um, so these uh, are the courses. We're going down to the courses that they are offering, okay? So as you can see, bridge to credentialing program details. So eligibility, physical therapy degree or foreign equivalent of a four year degree. So again, you have to be a graduate of a physical therapy program before you can enroll to these courses, okay? License in home country if, you're, if home country offers licensure, okay? So you have to be you know if you're in the philippines you have to be a licensed physical therapist you have a prc license okay before you can enroll to this program and you have access to patient population so uh they uh require you to be practicing in order because some of the subjects most likely have hands-on um so that's that's the reason why you ideally you should be practicing as a physical therapist okay so these are just um, 
you know, the, the steps, you know, define course, create a plan, apply to the program. Uh, but we're going to look uh, more on the details of requirements later on for clarification for this, okay? So you have to enroll, enter the student information services, and add the appropriate course, pay the tuition fee, okay, and prepare to start the semester, okay? So uh, you can read all of this in your own time, okay? So find the course. So these are the list of courses that the University of Michigan offers. So they have a long list of courses here, guys. Um, so for example, yeah, neuroscience, neuroanatomy, neurophysiology, they have pharmacology, diagnostic imaging, integumentary, neurologic, medical surgical condition across lifespan, pediatrics and geriatrics. They have endocrine and metabolic differential diagnosis. So these are all medical science, okay? Examination, they have history, screening, systems review, uh, physical exams, tests and measures, uh, selection, tests and measures, administration, assistive, uh, adaptive devices, tests and measures, administration, community, work, job, school, or play, reintegration, tests and measures, administration, environmental, home, work, barriers, tests, measures, and measures administration, integumentary integrity. They have motor function, neuromotor development, sensory processing. They have pain, sensory integration, mental functions, mobility excluding gait, okay? For evaluation, they have data analysis and evaluation, patient problem identification, uh, findings that warrant referral, prognosis and goal formation, formulation, plan of care development, uh, plan of care implementation, interventions for community work, functional training, integumentary repair and protection, patient client education, uh, prescription application as an appropriate fabrication or assistive device, uh, adaptive orthotic, protective, supportive and prosthetic devices and equipment, uh, wound debridement, plan of care management, uh, supervision of support staff, outcome assessment, discharge or discontinuation. Okay, for related professional coursework, you have professional roles and behaviors, health systems, administration and management, clinical decision-making processes, evidence-based practice, teaching and learning, including education theory, communication, legal and regulatory aspects of physical therapy practice, ethical aspects and values of physical therapy practice, cultural competency, consultation, health promotion and wellness, teamwork, and interprofessional collaboration, okay? Okay, so for the availability 2023-2024, uh, for fall uh, 2023, they have literature analysis and evidence-based practice, post-professional management in uh, PT practice. They have uh, systems review and screening in clinical decision-making, pediatric examination and intervention in practice. For winter 2024, okay, they have post-professional neuroscience in physical therapy, post-professional service learning, introduction to musculoskeletal imaging, okay? Uh, they have examination, intervention in practice of integument conditions, assistive technology in accessibility, and post-professional evidence-based practice. And then I think this is spring, summer 2024, advanced medical imaging for diverse population, post-professional pharmacology and physical therapy, post-professional geriatrics and physical therapy, teaching, learning, and health education, okay? So again, they have this um, uh, disclaimer, the University of Michigan Flint does not guarantee licensure or grant, of a degree, grant a degree to those individuals enrolled in physical therapy bridge to credentialing program, okay? So let's go back to their website and continue uh, with the application, okay? Back here again, you see it's 100% online, okay? 
so anywhere you are in the world you can actually apply here and take your deficient subjects okay so we were here learn more about the course options and availability so we're going here to the requirements or how to apply okay to the pt bridge program so you have to fill out the application for physical therapy bridge to u.s credentialing program okay so this is uh, the instruction for application so this is very important guys to read and understand on your own i will just go through it real fast just to guide you but take time for you to read each and every word here so that you will not commit mistake uh, during your application okay so submit okay steps in application process you have to submit uh, application materials to the office of graduate programs university of flint flint and this is their um you know address application for physical therapy bridge to u.s credentialing program can be emailed okay so you don't have to really send it through mail they can you can email here at graduate at umflint.edu or fax you know to this number okay so one of the following okay so this can be confusing because on their main website um you have to submit a copy of fccpt okay coursework tool number six so uh if you do not have that yet well ideally you should have like a form of credentialing through fccpt that you know what are the specific deficient subjects that you have so if you have that then you can submit it so or a transcript with physical therapy degree posted okay um so if the degree is not posted on the transcript a copy of certificate of graduation or diploma indicating conferral of the degree and the date it was conferred is also required or again a copy of fccpt report of evaluation of education credentials okay now they also require a uh, test of english as foreign language okay uh, don't get ielts because we don't really you cannot use ielts for u.s application so you use uh tofel ibt okay and um the internet base is a uh, passing score is 84 for this uh for this school okay it doesn't mean it is the requirement for the state that you're applying can be different okay so it's either you have ielts or uh, you can provide an official transcript showing one of the following so a degree earned at, at an accredited u.s college or university okay that is your bachelor you know not your tdpt degree it should be the bachelor degree or a degree earned at a foreign institution where language of instruction was exclusively english or successful completion c or higher grade for english 111 or english 112 or its equivalent okay so for like i know in my case it was easy the easiest one is to get a certification from the school uh, stating that the mode of education was taught in english okay so that's what i will do if i don't have tofel but if you have tofel and you have at least 84 you can use that okay so there are other instructions here that you have to read uh, let's go down here for application for physical therapy bridge us credentialing program this is the application form okay as you can see guys you know you can email this they have the website here they have the phone number okay and their address so um if you have a university of michigan id you can put it there if you don't have social security number it's not a problem okay it's optional okay um so what is the proposed term or year of enrollment that you want is it fall september winter january or spring may okay and then you have to put your last name your first name your middle name if you have any gender male or female what is your preferred first name okay uh previous names you used on prior academic records so that's why they want your maiden name because if you're married right now it's different okay so the birthplace okay the city state or country then your current mailing address 
then your email address, then your home number or mobile number. Okay, so that, that is just a continuation of your mailing address. Okay, if you have a permanent mailing address, if it is different from your current mailing address, you can put that. Uh, citizenship, most of you may not be a U.S. citizen. You can put yet here, okay, non-U.S. citizen, check that. And then you put the country of your citizenship, okay? What is your native language, if not English? Put it there. So if these are just questions whether you're Hispanic or Latino, yes or no. And then this is just your race, okay? So are you American Indian, Asian, Black, or African American, native of Hawaiian or other Pacific Islander, okay? Such as Hawaii, Guam, Samoa, and other Pacific Islands, are you white? And these are military question if you're serving in the mil US military or not. Most likely your answers here will be no. Okay. Um, please read uh, the University of Michigan guidelines for qualifying for in-state tuition. Okay. So before completing this section. Okay. So here are you a Michigan? Most likely if you are not a US citizen you are not a Michigan resident. So you just check the non-Michigan uh, resident, okay? So for education background, you just list uh, the name of your school here, where is it located, when did you attend it, like from 1995 to year 2000, okay? What is the degree, okay? Is it BSPT? And what is the degree date, when did you graduate? So if you have other degree, for example, in your country, like in the Philippines, there are schools for master's degree. You can put the master's, you know, the name of the school where you got your master's degree and supply the information here, okay? Uh, beginning with the most recent employment, list your employ employments here, okay? So the, the name of the employer, the city and the country, the dates to and fr uh, from and to, and the position you held okay then have you ever expelled suspended etc yes or no have you been uh, convicted of a crime yes or no again read this on your own fully understand what you're answering okay and then a uh, signature the date and then you print your name okay so return to this address or here okay email here okay so very simple straightforward uh the application for for Uni university of michigan flip okay okay so lastly i just want to uh, touch on this application deadlines okay this program has rolling admissions and reviews completed applications each month so the deadline for fall semester is uh, august 1st Winter semester is December 1st and spring semester is April 1st. Okay, so that's very important so that you can plan your um, taking the course ahead of time. Okay, all right. So uh, with the University of Michigan Flint website, they did not indicate the amount of tuition fee per uh, credit hour. So you can, what you can do is hit that uh, contact us button and you can ask that. Uh, they also have a button for request more information. So you can also find out uh, more if you request uh, more information about the courses. Uh, but they have email address and you know the contact us button. So whatever your questions are, you can send them a message, okay? Okay, guys, so I hope that is helpful for you guys, who, those who are, you know, looking for a school uh, to get their deficient subjects, okay? Um, if you have any comment or video suggestion, just leave your comments down below. If you already took your deficient subjects and you want to share your experience, what school it is, let me know also. I can make a video out of it too. Uh, put your comment down below. And also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that I can reach more foreign educated physical therapists around the world to help them with their U.S. application. 
Also, if you may hit that uh, like button so that YouTube will know that this is a beneficial video for the viewers, okay? Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Um, again, if you have any other video suggestion, just comment down below. I wish you all the best with your journey. Stay blessed.